हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैव सब्सक्राइब इट इट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम 103 इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट द केबल एक्सर्ट्स अ टेंशन ऑफ 2 किलो न्यूटन ऑन द फिक्स ब्रैकेट एट ए राइट द वेक्टर एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द टेंशन टी राइट सो वी हैव टू रिप्रेजेंट दिस 2 किलो न्यूटन फोर्स फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट ए टू बी एज अ वेक्टर राइट सो इफ आई रिप्रेजेंट द टी tension as a vector so then we will write it as t vector and this will be equal to t magnitude and the unit vector and that unit vector will be from a to b right and this t is the magnitude which is given this magnitude is given this is 2 kilo newton right so now we can write that this t vector will be equal to 2 kilo newton right and this unit vector will be from this will be a vector ab divided by its magnitude right so now how to find this ab vector so in this problem we are given the coordinates of this point a and this b from this origin right so first i will write i will find the coordinates of this point a from this origin right so to reach this point a we have to travel 1.2 meters in the x direction this is our x direction right so i will write the coordinates of a so in x direction we need to travel 1.2 meters and then we need to travel this much distance along the z axis is right this point 3 meters this is along the z axis is right so we will write point 3 meters and as we can see that this point a is in the x z plane right this is located in the x z plane and there is no need to travel in the y direction right so we will write that the y coordinates of this point a is 0 similarly we will find the coordinates of this point b so now as we can see that to reach this point b we need to travel 0.5 meters distance in the y direction this 0.5 meters right so we need to travel this much distance in the y direction so i will write that the y coordinates of this point b is 0.5 and then we need to travel 0.4 meters in the z direction right so i will write 0.4 and as we can see that this point b is located in this y z plane right so this means that there is no need to travel in the x direction right to reach this point b so this means that the x coordinate of this point b is 0 So now this t vector will be equal to two multiply by a b vector. So a b vector. So what we will do is we will subtract the coordinates of the corresponding coordinates of a from b, right? So we will write that this will be the x coordinates of b that is zero minus the x coordinate of a. This is one point two, and this will be the i component of that a b vector. right similarly we will write plus and then the y coordinate of b that is 0.5 minus the y coordinate of a so this is 0 and this will be j then we will write plus then the z coordinate of b so this is 0.4 minus the z coordinate of a this is 0.3 and this is k and then we will find the magnitude of this ab vector right so this is ab vector so the magnitude of this ab vector will be uh we will write that is 0 minus 1.2 square we will take the squares of each component of this ab vector and then we will add that right so this will be plus this will be 0.5 minus 0 square plus 0.4 minus 0.3 square and then we will take the square root right so this is the magnitude so now if we subtract all of these if we simplify this so 0 minus 1.2 is minus 1.2 0.5 minus 0 is 0 and 0.4 minus 0.3 is 0.1 right so we can write it like this and similarly we can write it minus 1.2 square 0.5 square and 0. One square. Now we can write this t vector equals to two 
and then this will be minus 1.2 i plus 0.5 j plus 0.1 k and then this magnitude is 1.30 right and then we will divide the corresponding component each component by this magnitude right so this will be 2 into minus 1.2 divided by 1.30 i plus 0 0.5 divided by 1.30 j plus 0 0.1 divided by 1.30 k now when we simplify this so then we get this as a t vector and if we multiply this two with each component so then this t vector is 1.84 i plus 0. 76j this is minus right and then plus 0.16k right so this is the that t vector representation right so this is the vector expression of that tension 2 kilonewton tension in that cable right now there is one another uh, short method shortcut method that we can find this t vector directly right so how to find that t vector directly so now as we can see that this minus 1.2 is the distance between point A and B along the x direction, right? So as we can see that this point A and B are far apart from each other along the x axis is as 1.2 meters, right? So as the t vector is from A to B, so then to reach that point B from A, so then what we need to do is that we need to travel 1.2 meters in the negative x direction right so we will put minus sign with it right so then by using this method we can write a b vector directly right so we will write in this case that we will have to travel minus 1.2 meters in the i direction and then once we reach uh, this point so then the the distance between point a and b along the y direction is this 0.5 meters right so as we can see that we this is 0.5 meters right so this 0.5 meters means that the separation between point a and b along the y axis is how much so this is 0.5 meters right so we will write this as 0.5 j and similarly the separation between point a and b along the z axis is, is how much so as we can see that this uh, point a is 0.3 meters from the z axis right so then to reach that 0.4 meters the coordinate of b along the z axis is 0.4 meters so from 0.3 we have to travel 0.1 meters more in the z direction to reach that point b right so this is that 0.1 right so we will write plus 0.1 k right so this is the shortcut method to find that a b vector and once we find this a b vector we can find this magnitude by by using this method and then this method will continue right so this is the that vector representation of that t 2 kilonewton tension in that wire a b right